Hi everyone! Today we will continue to talk about Photoshop filters as an essential technique for the textile design. So let's start our lesson number 25. If you have a second, please subscribe for my channel. What is the main reason to use filters for textile? I think it's for the print improvement, which means fixing the imperfection fast. Last time we were talking about the filters which help adding different texture to the prints to make them prettier and more useful. Today we will talk about smoothing filter, which makes prints more even and as a result hide their imperfection. Let's open our abstract print from the previous lesson. We will work from the pixelated version and we will try to clean it in the different way using filter. Go to Image, Mode, Index of Color. We have nine colors. Go back to RGB. As we remember, we can use filters only in RGB mode. Zoom in. Let's try to reduce this pixelation. Go to Filter, Noise, the Speckle. See, some of the pixels are disappearing. Let's repeat. Even less. Do we like it? Maybe yes, right here, but we are getting the blurness in this area. Go back. Go to Filters, Noise, Dust and Scratches. What I like about this filter, I can play with radius and threshold. The higher radius we choose, the smoother the print will look. But with the high radius, we may lose some color. So playing with threshold, we can rescue the lost color kind of hard finding the perfect balance, but after some practice you will know how to do this in a few seconds. Again, go back. Go to Filter, Noise, Medium. Basically it does the same in the previous one, but you play only with radius. Here are three main filters for pixelation reducing. I usually don't use the last one, Reduce Noise. It's too complicated and gives too many half tones. But what is the bigger problem with these filters and why we don't use them always for print cleaning? Because they don't preserve amount of color. Look, we have our print cleaned with medium filter. Go to image, mode, index is color 20. 20 instead of 9. Let's try to reduce 20 colors to 9, but preserve our previous colors from the original image. There are a few different ways. My favorite way. Place the cleaned one and the original one next to each other. Make sure that the original one is the index of color mode. Go to clean one, select wall, cut. Go to the original one and paste. Look, the clean one replaces the original pixelated, and the colors don't get changed. That's because the areas of the additional colors, which we've gotten when we used filter, is very little, and it was replaced by the closest main colors automatically. I can show you another method to make this statement more clear. Go back. As we remember, our original file has nine colors. We'd like to save the new one cleaned with medium filter with the same nine colors, eliminating the new colors. Make sure both files are side by side. Go to the clean file. Go to image, mode, index of color. In the palette, find local selected. In the colors, type nine. Transparency off. If the print is flat, not watercolor, you don't need any detail. In the force drop down menu, choose custom. Click on the first box and assign it with the one of the main colors, which we can choose from the original print. Then click to the next box and choose another color from the original print. The same way we assign our nine colors using the colors from the original print. Click OK. See, the new print has the same nine colors. 
what about those additional colors which we've gotten when we applied one of the noise filter? As we see, we don't have to worry about them. They just got replaced with the closest colors by themselves. So you may ask why we can't use any of these methods for the cleaning of the entire print. Well, I would say all these noise filters are kind of too strong, especially for the delicate design. If we compare with the original, yes, it's not pixelated at all, but it definitely lost some design details. Zoom in. So, I don't recommend applying any of noise filters to the entire print, unless your design is very simple. Look at these imperfect polka dots. Filter, noise, dust and scratches, play with sliders. Here we go. Go back to our swirl print. Instead of applying the filter entirely, let's try to fix some problematic areas. Go to the clean print. Step back. This circle is very pixelated. Select this area, filter, noise, dust and scratches. Play with sliders. I like the position radius 5, threshold 10. Before click OK, remember or write down these numbers. Then this area. See, if we use the same amount, we still get this unwanted spot. Let's increase it to 6. OK. Then this area. We may change the slider's position again, trying to protect the corner shape and avoid them to become too round. The pixelation is very fine. Let's try filter noise median. This is too much. Go to 5. You can go area by area. Or you can try to combine several colors at the same time. See? Let's decide that green pixels on white color is our most problematic area. Select white and green, go to noise, dust and scratches. How much? What about 4 and 4? Not bad. Then light brown and medium brown. Now it's better. Then light brown and beige. Also, not perfect, but it's not so dramatic. I think two will be enough. Using this method, we can fix the most part of the print. But remember, there is no way to make any print look perfect using only Photoshop tools. You will need to use your artistic skills later on anyway to make it look pretty and professional. So play with noise filters to make it decent enough, select all, edit, copy, go to the original print, paste. For sure the new clean print preserved the original 9 colors. Go to image mode RGB, then image mode indexes 9. Then as we just spoke we have to finalize our design using our skills and creativity. What I really like about this method, we always can use it partially to fix some small areas and kind of patch unexpected mistakes. Remember our lesson number 12, cleaning, where we are cleaning the same print with other methods. Let's look again and try to find any missing mistakes. Ah, here, definitely my fault. Duplicate the image, select the area, filter, noise, dust and scratches. This is totally fine. If you want, you can place this area only without selecting the entire print. Copy, go to the original, index the color mode, paste. Move to the appropriate area. See, we have patched my pixelated area with the perfect slice. So now we've learned about Photoshop filters from the noise group and know how to use them for the print cleaning and fixing the imperfect details. Next time we will continue to talk about Photoshop filter. Please subscribe to my channel, like it if you still didn't, and please don't forget to check your bell.
See you soon.